Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 8 of my gameplay series for Heroes Adventure. So, let's see what we're going to find today. I'll be getting my reward from the reward board, and my plan is to scout a little bit around the area of Daliang City. And, well, we're going to see what happens here, so... Mm, you not just need to remember the prices of these fruits. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't want to do this. Ugh, apples 9, lychees 24, and sweet melons 50. Okay. The mini games, so. Let's see how that'll work out. <laughs> this game never stops to uh, amaze me with its little things, Dad. Yeah, well. I somehow feel as if I'm doing something wrong, even though I know that the prices were so far. The stuff that he told me. Okay, well, so theoretically, this quest gave me a chance to totally fill my pockets with money if I had busted the prices up. Okay. What? Nameless appliance. What is an appliance? <laughs> start all right <laughs> the words still are sometimes a little bit confusing but we're playing a chinese game okay so i was actually on my way to get my rewards when this happened here but well the reward board was here so hand in I don't know what that was. So, night patrol in the city. Alright. Drive away, the thieves will appear near the Daliang. What office? This is something that really needs to be reworked because currently you cannot read whatever, what's uh, written there. It's a bit of a shame because uh, I think the text boxes work just fine when you're playing the Chinese version. But sadly, well. All right, so I'm not quite sure if I'm uh, if I want to stay here. You know what? Looking at the locations, we're going to we're going to depart here. So for future trips, we can now pick up a trip to the other regions there. All right, good to know. So this would be 500 bucks. This would be only 300 bucks. But I want to go to this place here. You guys let me did let me know that you can, of course, get free travels with the animal taming stuff in the Lost Forest. We're going to do that in the next upcoming episodes for sure. So, what's the most famous in Linan City? Fireworks. Okay, so the coachmen here seem to be very eager to sell you maps of the regions where, where you are entering. So, let's see. Stop right there. Who are you? Okay. So that that's well let's accept the challenge. 
All right, that wasn't not really a fight. <laughs> Bam. All right, douchebag. What a weirdo. So... Hotel delighted. Okay. Mm, we should definitely pick this guy up at some point. Uh, yeah, okay. My character was totally low HP at that point. So we're going to we're going to sleep. I know that I'm kind of like wasting my money here right now, but I always feel like with games like these, it's pretty important to to not forget the role playing aspect. And sometimes things just happen, or you can't find things because you do certain interactions. All right, let's have a brawl with the waiter. Alright. So. An underground arena. Spring night is worth a thousand gold. Money can't buy happiness. Okay. Now. Let's try that again with HP, shall we? Damn. That's more like it. <laughs> okay. Alright. A family heirloom manual. Okay, so well, let's see. Another fist fighter? I'm definitely not going to pick up yet another fist fighter. As much as I'm inclined to uh, to help this guy, but fist sixty or higher. Wow, that's uh, well, most powerful thing that I found so far. Relic house, so. Hitting one number, one to one, two numbers, one to two, three numbers, what? That's kind of like roulette, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, this is so typical. The higher your luck, the higher your chances of winning. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, so this is totally uh, about cheating, but that that's pretty typical for games uh, of this uh, venue. So there's a silver line around everywhere, but it would be a crime to to pick that up. A landlord. Okay, so these are basically just uh, gambling tables. So I get it. I'm so filthy poor. That's one of my biggest problems here, but escort master. Okay. Hello, horse. See, even the horses do nay here, just as the snakes. So, cannot do anything with this guy here. Tell you what, we're going to go and. Check out the uh, outside area there. Okay, young hero. Yeah, well, 5,000 win. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's all cool and everything, but. So. 
So yeah, banish I learned now by the wise and knowing uh, comment section just sends the people away from you. So you can't pass by, by them. So Langya Sword Pavilion, Water Camp, Plant Sect. Alright. Plant Sect sounds interesting. Jeez, this game is really overwhelming me with all the things that you can do here. So I assume that this is these are sect pavilions, so you could join other sects here, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'm curious to see what this plant sect is all about, so let's uh, let's find that out. So this is one of those games where you totally benefit from having played it before and having uh, meta-knowledge about the situation. So that's level 15 thugs, so we shouldn't be... We shouldn't be too much in trouble here. Let's slap them dudes. I'll be holding my two wikis back. Because, exactly just what I expected to happen. Most of them will attack the protagonist if I let them. And his entire combat technique is uh, styled around being in there, being getting attacked by everybody and just tanking it. There we go. So... Sadly, I can't take two people here, but whatever. Dragon Staff is still doing the thing. There we go. One less to worry about. It's a kind of sad that this guy in the hotel there was a fist fighter. Yet again. Although maybe I should be looking at these things less strict and just retrain the people if I want to have them use other skills. But being the noob here that I am, I'm just following my instinct. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but whatever. So these guys, they are quite a good exercise, but they don't yield any loot yet again. So, the holy land of healers. Ah, my doctor dude is actually liking these. Interesting. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here the wording is quite quite cute. I really look forward to the translation being getting better. So definitely. Ten days. Alright. Benevolence. Alright, so yeah, this is, uh, if I keep talking to her, I think she will introduce me now to this, uh, healing stuff. I mean, to some degree, I think it would be a pretty interesting combination to have a character that's tanky and able to heal characters. And now all I need are damage dealers. Come on, let's do it. It sounds like an interesting choice, and my character is a goody-two-shoes type of uh, person, so... Okay, I can't just poke here, learn. Okay. Yeah, let's gift her that thing, why not? Mm. 
we're not acquainted still. Okay, too bad. All right. So she would be a level 61 character. Wow. Yeah, she, she's a sect leader, so one would expect that. Well, let's pilfer that place, and, uh, well, my doctor will be away for 10 days. I'm only 13 days in, so we better go to find something else to do. So far, so good. I really can't wait. This game is going to be in full release in a week, and I really am looking forward to this. I hope they improve a little bit on the uh, translation still. I mean, it's good. It's, it's enjoyable to read these texts, even though it feels a tad bit clunky in the wording at times. I think it's still amazing what the game does. It's still one of the most uh, palatable Chinese games that I've played so far. So... Oh, can I sit there? Aw. Oh. Alright. So another thing that I just wanted to mention real quick here is that I have established a channel membership system which allows you to donate a very small amount of money to me if you want to support the channel. This is a really cool way. And in return, you can just watch all the videos before they get published. I tend to record lots of episodes back to back when I'm doing my recording sessions, so chances are you don't have to wait as long as you would have to wait. And don't worry for all of you who are not interested. All of these episodes, of course, will air regularly. I won't be doing any paywalling shenanigans. I'm not that kind of content creator. I want everybody to participate in the fun that we're doing here. So, let's see. Are you going to cross the river, young man? La Wuyu Ferry. Hmm. Zhuzhang Water Camp. Murderous Pirates. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, maybe we're going to visit the Sword Pavilion instead. Heh. <laughs> But tell you what, we're going to take the bandit fight. I think this is the smartest way to deal with those bandits, to just fight them whenever you get a good opportunity to get a fight, but avoid them otherwise. That's level 20 people, so we're going to uh, let the shopkeeper lady um, in the back line. And just roam around here a little bit. I'm I'm actually worried about this. Honestly, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. I think this doesn't work out. Oh, my sensei came on in. So let's heal ourselves up. I did lose my Rage Exploded status, but I think if I don't heal up, I'm dead. If I don't heal up, I'm dead, I think. So let's keep healing up. Wow. I'm surprised that these guys are so nasty here. Good thing that we uh, took the help of our uh, sensei here. So I'm not going to go for the full attack here. Ah, oh, whatever. Shopkeeper lady is not going to take her turn anyways. Okay, that was scary. I didn't expect to survive. I am really going to save my game before I go into these. I mean, it's going to be too terrible if I die at some point, but I want to have a point where I die where I'm like, okay, now I want to restart because I now know what I want to do differently. Because in all honesty, I wouldn't even know right now what to do that differently. Ordinary people are not allowed in. So we we need to gain way more reputation. So reputation three for the criminal bureau in the other city and reputation level 4 for the Langya Sword Pavilion. So, turns out our ways lead back to Linan City, because I don't happen to have anything else here. 
So, food has stamina recovery. We should totally take this into account because I carry around a lot of food. There's a lot of food stuff in this game. Holy boy. I like that. It's uh, always a pleasure to see games that have an extensive cooking system or something like that. Seeing how I love to cook, this is uh, personally always fun. So, too bad that you don't... Ah, you see your stamina there. Okay. So, we can also go for mood recovery here. Yeah, that food system of this game is pretty, uh, pretty nice. This uh, brings you the opportunity to actually, yeah, to benefit from food. It's not only buff stuff, it's also uh, filling up your stamina and such things. The longer I play this game, the more I do like it. Even though I'm still completely overwhelmed. I feel like I don't even know where to look first here the whole time. This is one of the things where I really feel like, wow. By the way, wow, um, shouldn't I be able to equip items somehow into my hotkeys, or is that stuff just new and... Did I own these all the way along already? Treatise on cold pathogenic, alright. did I do there? Ah, uh, this game is just way too much for me sometimes. I feel like I'm still not. Okay, let's do something else first. One of my favorite tactics if something is, dis uh, is confusing me too much, I'm, I'm going somewhere else <laughs> and read those books in between the uh, episodes a little bit more thoroughly. So, Exquisite Pavilion. I bet that this guy is selling more gift items. There's so many gift items in this game. I know I'm repeating myself, but... I still haven't understood where I can properly um, fight for loot in these areas. The thugs here, they don't drop anything. Again, they are not uh, a good choice if I just want to fight for loot. And I feel like I, I really should go for the starting area again and just farm my way up there. Don't know. I feel as if I'm not doing myself a big favor. Right now, I feel as if I'm wasting my money mostly. <laughs> but we're experiencing adventures and all, so... Pawn shops tend to be a really good uh, source of things here. So we have now the uh, regular shop street. And... Well... I want to buy that. I still have way more uh, than enough scrap silver to buy me something better even. Uh, to buy me the... Yeah, whatever I want to, basically. But that is an increase of 80% in attack damage. I want that. Okay. So. Let's see what my old sensei will do or, or, or teacher. We don't use these Japanese terms here. What my old teacher has to say if I go now there. There we go. Okay, it was just a pointer to the uh, gambling den if I need money. I mean, as far as I understand things, this might be actually one of the very best ways to earn money in this game. So, night patrol in the city... So, this would be something we could do. I still wonder what these thumbs up are, but I think, well, it's pretty clear that it's uh, about 
trustworthiness and uh, relationships with the locals. Okay. Okay. So, there's a criminal on the loose here. So I could bribe my way into the prison if I'd wanted to. I don't know why I should spend that money. Government office, so let's see. Sadly, you can't just get yourself quests here from this guy. So, all right. So, an identifying shop. Nice. So, opportunity for some criminal activities. I have to play a, uh, a, a thieving uh, mongrel one day. I just have to. This game gives you so much opportunity to play a uh, nasty little bugger. I just have to do this. You certainly understand. This is really good when games do this, when you're uh, actually getting tempted and uh, getting interesting ideas of playing the bad guy. Many games playing the bad guy is so not incentivized that you're totally not interested. Oh yeah, here. But money can't buy happiness. So the, this was the, the hideout of the black robe people, wasn't it? So we should probably proceed with care here. Underground arena. Alright. Hot oh, damn, that looks nice. Okay. All right, we have to tee up, uh, link up with these people so they can give me the information. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Just just be the strongest person, and I'll tell you what you want to know. All right. So let's see. Do I need to invest money into that uh, thing? Let's save the game and see. every five days registration fee 500 okay fierce beasts five rounds all right I really don't think that I am powerful enough to to get through the arena, but we're going to try it out nevertheless in the next episode. So thanks for watching everybody. I'm going to cut here because I want to take the arena thing with the uh, necessary time. Thanks for watching. Drop me your comments. Leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And of course, check out the description box. There's lots of other things there. Play this link to the series and lots of other nice things my discord server where we can have a chat where you can find like-minded gamers and of course there's also patreon paypal and buy me a coffee and i'd be really delighted if you'd give them a look big thanks to the supporters of the channel i really 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 appreciate you guys and most of all thanks for hanging out on this video watching it means a terrible lot to me see you all next time have a good one